Whenever we talk about money, the amount of money is not the only thing that matters. What also matters is when you have to get or when you have to give the money. So to think about this, or to make it a little bit more concrete, let's assume that we live in a world that if you put money in a bank, you are guaranteed 10% interest. 10% risk, risk-free interest in a bank. And this is high by historical standards, but it'll make our math easy. So let's just assume that you can always get 10% risk-free interest in the bank. Now, given that, let me throw out scenarios and have you think about which of these that you would most want. So I could give you $100 right now. That's option one. I could, in one year, instead of giving you the $100 immediately, in one year, I could give you I could give you $109 and then in 2 years in 2 years this is kind of option 3 I'd be willing to give you 100 $120 so your choice is, someone walks up, you up to the street, I can give you a $100 bill now, a $109 bill, or not a $109 bill, $109 in a year, or $120 two years from now. And you know in the back of your mind you can get 10% risk-free interest. So given that you don't have an immediate need for money, you're assuming that this money you will save, that you don't have to, you know, that you don't have a bill to pay immediately, which of these things are the most desirable? Which of these would you most want to have? Well, if you just cared about the absolute value or the absolute amount of the money, you would say, hey, look, $120, that's the biggest amount of money. I'm going to take that one because uh, that's just the biggest number. But you probably have in the back of your mind, well, hey, I'm getting that later. So there's maybe something I'm losing out there. And you'd be right. You'd be losing out on the opportunity to get the 10% risk-free interest if you were to get the money earlier. And if you want to, if you wanted to compare them directly, the thought process would be, well, let's see, if I, got, if I took option one, if I got the $100, and if you were to put it in the bank, what would that grow, what would that grow to based on that 10% risk-free interest? Well, after one year, 10% of $100 is $10. So you would get $10 in interest. So after one year, your entire savings in the bank will now be $110. So just doing that little exercise, we actually see that $100 given now, put it in the bank at 10% risk free, will actually turn into $110 in a year from now, which is better than the $109 one year from now. So given this scenario, or given this kind of uh, situation or this option, you would rather do this than do this. You're better A year from now, you're better off by a dollar. What about two years from now? Well, if you take that $100, after one year, it becomes $110. Then 10% of 110 is $11. Is $11. So you want to add $11 to it, and so it becomes it becomes $121. So once again, you're better off taking the $100, investing it in the bank, risk-free, 10% per year. It turns into $121. That is a better situation than just someone guaranteeing you to give the $120 in two years. Once again, you are better off by a dollar. And so this idea that not just the amount matters, but when you get it, this idea is called the time value of money. Time time value of money. Or another way to think about it is, think about what the value of this money is over time, given some expected interest rate. And when you do that, you can compare this money to equal amounts of money at some future date. Now another way of thinking about the time value, or I guess another related concept to the time value of money, is the idea of present value. Present present value. And maybe I'll talk about present and future value. So present present and future value. Future value. So given this assumption, this 110 this 10% assumption, if I if someone were to ask you what is the present value of $121 2 years in the future, you would that's they're essentially asking you. So let's 
So what is the present value? So the present PV stands for present value. So what is the present value of $121 two years in the future? That's equivalent to asking what type of money or what amount of money would you have to put into the bank risk-free over the next two years to get $121? And we know that. If you put $100 in the bank for two years at 10% risk-free, you would get $121. So the present value here, the present value of $121 is the $100. Or another way to think about present and future value, if someone were to ask, what is the future value? So what is the future value of this $100 in one year? So in one year, well, if you, put, if you get 10% of the bank that's guaranteed, its future value is $110. After two years, its two-year future value is $121. And so with that in mind, let me give you one slightly more interesting problem. So let's say that I have, let's say we're going to assume this the whole time. That makes our math easy, a 10% risk-free interest. And let's say that someone says that they're willing to give us, they're willing to give us $65 in one year. And we were to ask ourselves, what is the present value of this? So what is the present value? What is the present value of this? So remember, the present value is just asking you what amount of money that if you were to put it in the bank at this risk-free interest would be equivalent to this $65. Which of these two are equivalent to you? And so you would say, well, look, whatever amount of money that is, let's call that x, whatever amount of money that is times, if I grow it by 10%, that's literally I'm taking x plus 10% x plus, let me write it this way, plus 10% times x. Oh, let me write it, not, let me make it clearer this way. x, x plus 10% of x should be equal to our $65. If I take, if I take the amount, I get 10% of that amount over the near, that should be equal to $65. And this is the same thing as a 1x, or we could say that 1x plus 10% is the same thing as 0.10x is equal to 65. Or you add these two, 1.10x is equal to 65. And if you want to solve for the actual amount of the present value here, you would just divide both sides by the 1.10. And so you would get x is equal to, oh, let, me, let me do it this way, be a little bit more clear about it. So let's divide both sides by 1. And really, that trailing 0 doesn't matter. We're not really too worried about the precision here, because this, isn't, this is actually exactly 10%. So this is going to be, these cancel out. And x is going to be equal to, let me get the calculator out. x is going to be equal to 65 divided by 1, $1.1, $59.09, rounding it. So x x is equal to $59.09, which was the present value of $65 in one year. Or another way to think about it is, if you wanted to know what the future value of $59.09 is in one year, assuming that 10% interest, you would get $65.